The 2015 NBA Finals MVP is home. NBA champ Andre Iguodala returned to the capital city and a ceremony was held for the Springfield native at Lamphere High School. Mayor of Springfield honored Iguodala by proclaiming August 15, 2015 to be Andre Iguodala Day. Both Iguodala and his mother received a key to the city. The Lamphere alum thanked his family, former coaches and friends for helping him reach his goals over the years. Iguodala says that it's nice to be back in his hometown and that ever since the NBA Finals, it's been one crazy ride. It's been a whirlwind of uh, emotions, but uh, most of all, it's, uh, you, know, you put a lot of hard work in and you kind of don't know what type of investment you're going to get out of it. Uh, but the way it ended in June and uh, the way these last couple weeks have been for me, it's just been kind of the, uh, the pinnacle of uh, everything that I've really tried to accomplish in my life. In high school, it was just you know, having fun and enjoying the time. Uh, while I was here. I knew I would always go to college and I would be going, going away, but I never knew I would make it to this level until I, I got to college. On to college hoops, the disappointing news continues for the Illini men's basketball team. This morning, the program announced that forward Darius Paul has once again been suspended indefinitely. According to reports, during the preseason Euro trip, Paul violated team rules. The report says Friday morning while the team was in Duelville, France, Police officers responded to multiple calls of Paul damaging vehicles and breaking windows. Paul was later arrested and charged with vandalism, public intoxication, and resisting arrest. Illini head coach John Gross released a statement this morning saying, We have specific standards of behavior for every member of our team, and when those expectations are not met, there are consequences. Darius is returning home immediately and we will evaluate his status with the team following our return to Champaign. To the NFL, fans should not expect to see the Chicago Bears' first round pick out on the gridiron anytime soon. Bears general manager Ryan Pace announced that rookie Kevin White will undergo surgery on his shin. By starting the year off on the physically unable to perform list, the number seven overall pick will miss at least the first six games of the regular season. Pace also says White suffered a setback earlier in the week and could potentially miss the entire season. White suffered a stress fracture to his shin during OTAs. Moving to preseason football, Andrew Luck and the Indianapolis Colts travel to Philadelphia. We start off scoreless in the first quarter. Luck finds his new target, Andre Johnson, for the first down. Colts fans are hoping to see a lot more of that this season. Later on, Mark Sanchez flings it out to rookie Nelson Agulor who takes it in for a 34-yard touchdown. It's 7-3 Philly. Third quarter, Tim Tebow in the game. The 2007 Heisman winner finds Rashid Bailey, who makes a nice one-handed grab. And later in the fourth, inside the Colts 10, and you got it. It's officially Tim Tebow time. Tebow takes this one on his own with the dive. Eagles cruise for the win. 36-10 is the final. And that's a look at sports. We'll be back after the break.